Hi everyone, this is John from Cooking Parmigiano. Today I'll be making gnocchi. You know, I know everyone uh, is affixed to the TV, watching it all day, with this tragedy that's happening around the world with the coronavirus. So just maybe we could break away a little bit and, and cook, you know, try to find some time to spend with family and maybe laugh a little bit. Hope you enjoy it. Hello everybody again. So today we're gonna be making gnocchi. And this is gnocchi, okay? It's pronounced gnocchi, not ganache. Please, don't ever say ganache. Don't ever say ganache. That's like a sin to say ganache. It's gnocchi. Can everybody say it? Gnoc, 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 gnocchi, gnocchi. So, what you're gonna need um, to make the gnocchi is obviously Yukon potatoes. We'll combine one egg and we'll also mix um, a little flour in there, okay? So those are the three basic ingredients. Okay, everyone, so the first step we have to do is um, mash the potatoes, right? So we have a, a, a tool here that does that. So you'll put the potato in there and you squeeze it. You need some strong hands and look at that. Look at the way that comes out, okay? And that's what we want to see. We want to get that potato out. Okay, and I'll do that again with another potato. You know, squeeze the potato. Pobre patate. Pobre. That means poor potato. There we go. Ah, oh, smash that potato up. Okay. Okay, so what I did was I mashed the potatoes. Now, listen, if you don't have this tool, you can also smash the potatoes with a fork or something like this apparatus right here, where you just squeeze it, need some muscles in there. Okay, get that potato in there, and squeeze it, and smash it down, okay? So you could use other things as well, you know, so just be creative a little bit. Just mash the potato. Okay, everyone, so we have the potato right here all mashed up, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an egg and put an egg in there, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some flour and start incorporating the flour with the potato and the egg. So one hand has to be the dry hand to go and get the flour, and the other hand has to be the one that you work with, okay? So, you know, you work with this, and you know, whenever I do something like this, I, I always think about my, my mom, who, who made gnocchi plenty of times, and you know, she used to always sing a song, and she used to always sing, Catch a falling star and put it in your pocket. Save it for a rainy day. Just full of enjoyment. So, you know, when you do something like this, have fun. You know, have fun. Playing with the gnocchi, we want it to become almost a little less than dough-like. We want it a little tacky. And uh, keep working the flour. So you see, the dough is a little pasty now. I don't want it pasty. I want a little bit less than dough-like. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit more flour in, and also I'm gonna just sprinkle a little salt in there also. Incorporate the salt. And I'm trying something a little bit new. Um, I'm gonna put a little Parmesan cheese in there as well. Maybe give that gnocchi a little extra flavor, okay? You know? And then what we're gonna do is put that flour in, okay? And again, just start to knead that flour right in there. We wanna make it Really, um, we're almost like, uh, you know, remember when you were a little kid, you used to play with Silly Putty? I remember I did, you know? So you wanted a little like maybe that Silly Putty, you know? I remember my mother used to say, Johnny, mom, what do you do today? What do you do? I said, mom, I'm playing with the Silly Putty. Okay, so I've been, you know, mixing the dough like this, incorporating the flour, a little of the cheese and salt, and. And now you're gonna just um, make it into something. You see how it is? It's not really tacky anymore. It's not sticking to my fingers. It's, it has beautiful consistency. Really, we, we could really work uh, this very, very nicely. So if you just take a look at that, um, that's, that's perfect, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut this in sections. I have this little apparatus here that we use to cut the, um, the dough. We make dough, in this case, the gnocchi. So we're gonna cut it and a few little pieces, let's say, like, I'm gonna cut it in four sections. So we'll take these three sections, 
and put it over here, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little flour, we'll put it on the table so that it doesn't uh, stick. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna roll it, okay? Very simple. Just rolling, rolling the dough, okay? And you wanna roll it into maybe a, about a 10, 10 inches. Okay, so we're gonna roll this out, you know, like I said, for like, you know, 10 or, it's about 10, 12 inches around there, you know, around that, yeah, okay? I always remember, you know, when I was a kid, um, me and my dad would always be horsing around with the reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder, and uh, my mother would be making yaki in the other room, you know? I was four or five years old, and my dad would say, hey, Johnny, what did we do today? And I used to tell him what we did. We went to church, things like that. And, and then he remember he told me, Johnny, how much is one plus one? And I so proudly said to him, one plus one equals three. He looked at me and said, very good, Johnny. And that's how I became a, a Rose Scholar. So getting back to the gnocchi. So now we have it here about uh, uh, a foot or so, 12 inches or so. Okay, now you're gonna take this and we're gonna cut it in, I would say, you know, about in, an inch, okay? So what we do. Okay, so we're gonna continue to do, I mean, it's very, very simple. Uh, you're just gonna roll this out, like I said, another, you know, well, this one would be a little bit longer, okay? Just roll it out, the flour. Now remember, if you don't have a board like this, you can use a, a granite counter or a, um, a table in the kitchen, make sure it's clean. This board made from my mother's friend, Mr. Flame, he made this beautiful board which really helps us out, but you don't really need a board. You know, use the granite counter, use your table, just get comfortable. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so I made another, another round of these, and again, we're gonna cut it like this. Yeah, you know, you, like I said, you can use a table, okay? Uh, so I remember uh, years ago, my, we were having a big gnocchi party, right? So we had to get this big table. And my, my father calls me up. He's I'm at work. He says, Johnny, he says, come on. We got to go to the bullseye and pick up at the table. I said, what are you talking about, bullseye? What are you talking about? We got to go to the bullseye and pick up at the table. I said, uh, what are you talking about, bullseye? What are you talking? He looks at me. He says, Johnny, my come on. Eh? The place near Chili's, they, they call it the, the bullseye. I said, oh, that, that's Target. What are you talking about? Okay, so the basic technique is that we wanna put some ridges in the gnocchi so that when we make a tomato sauce, we want the sauce to really, you know, to get in there a little bit and attach the gnocchi. So you can see I put these little lines in. It's hard to, to see, but they're there. I'll make another one, okay? So you, all you do is with, with a little pressure, you just roll it, okay? Just roll it, it's very easy. Doesn't have to be anything major. Okay, just a little, a few lines, or some people can just take a simple cheese grater and just roll it down a little bit, just so it can get a few bumps in there. Okay, there's some ridges. Okay, uh, you know, I, I like it both ways. It, it doesn't have to be anything, you know, dramatic, just um, something to, to, for the, for the sauce to catch to catch on a little bit better. So you can see that, you know, we're about done here right now. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of these and then I'm gonna show you how to disperse the gnocchi in the water. Okay, so now what I have here is I have the water, uh, it's not really boiling. I don't want the water to boil where you see those big bubbles coming up, okay? Um, I want it, the water very, very hot, but not boiling. Because if, if it's really boiling, then it has a chance of, of um, making the potatoes overcook uh, to a point where you'll have, you get a potato soup. <laughs> and we don't want that to happen, okay? So here what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put the, um, start dropping the gnocchi into the water. So we put the uh, gnocchi in the very, very hot water and we want it to resurrect, right? We wanted those potatoes to come up. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, look at this, Eureka. It's doing exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to do. The pasta is rising. So uh, that's a beautiful thing. That's when you know you've made excellent gnocchi. So we're gonna let it rise. 
and then uh, and then we'll plate it. Another note: once the uh, gnocchi rises to the top, I would like you to leave it in for another three to four minutes so it gets uh, really cooked well. Okay. So now I, I made a beautiful uh, marinara sauce earlier this morning. I mean, the flavor in here is incredible. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plate this right now. Okay. And here you have the finished product. Gnocchi with a beautiful tomato sauce that the tomato sauce will be another one of my episodes and here it is. I mean, you could just smell it. I wish everybody was here to smell the flavor. Absolutely incredible. You know, this is what we do with cooking with Parmesan. We make dishes simple, we make it fun, and as my mother would say, Johnny, your method is so nice, so good. Keep with the family together. I'm John for cooking with Parmesan.